Good evening and welcome to Clare Galway Castle to tonight's concert of Cellissimo. Tonight as we are at the Mclally Theatre. Welcome back to St Nicholas's Collegiate Church. We are delighted to be at Portumna Castle. We're here at the Town Hall Theatre this evening. But here we are in this wonderful surrounding of Calmore Abbey, in the beautiful uh, heart of Connemara. Putting on a festival during the coronavirus pandemic was really very, very challenging as of course there was so much uncertainty. Eventually we discovered that really travel and quarantine was our biggest obstacle. Of course the other main obstacle was that we knew that in March there would be no live audience. And so we decided to bring Cellissimo online. The musicians reacted with really an open mind. They went through great lengths and uh, some recorded themselves from where they were in different countries and sent their files in, their, their recordings in. Um, they were all happy to give their master classes online. And the three cellists who were not based in Ireland but that we really needed for the festival actually came 14 days before the start of the festival and were happy to do the quarantine for us. Really a wonderful gesture from them. And equally the Irish based musicians all uh, were just ready to go. It was a, a great sense of achievement really to, to come together and do this. One of the highlights for me, artistically speaking, was of course the opening concert of the festival where we got to hear the Galway cello performed by Naomi Beryl for the very first time premiering our new commission from Bill Whelan a beautiful piece called Fragments followed by a sizzling programme with the Irish Chamber Orchestra and Mark Coppe and Christopher Ellis all coming live from the beautiful entrance hall at Kylemore Abbey in the heart of Connemara our closing concert of course too with the Maiskies performing a really really interesting and diverse programme of cello classics was another great highlight for me. But in between those concerts, there was so much to enjoy. There were the Bach solo recitals coming to us from around the world and from St. Nicholas Church in Galway. There was the traditional strand of the festival with Natalie Haas's very interesting discussion on the role of the cello in trad music. We had the contempos in Port Dumna. For me personally, we had the great challenge of performing all five Beethoven sonatas in quick succession uh, out in Clare Galway Castle. So it was a showcase of Galway City and County. It was a showcase of the cello, a showcase of international and national artists. And as a whole, I think it was a great celebration, a week of celebration at the end of March. Right from the very start, we were absolutely convinced that this should be a triennial festival, that this should not just be one event that takes place and is then forgotten, but it should leave a lasting legacy for Galway. And so we want this festival to take place again in 2024. We are now actively planning for that. We are dreaming up great programming ideas for Galway City and County, and we look forward very much to welcoming people in person to the stages of Galway in 2024. So do join us then. We would like to thank you, the audiences who tuned in and stayed with us and were there and also sent us so many messages of encouragement and of appreciation. Thank you all. <laughs>